Now to some big news for Big Tobacco. Huge changes in store for that industry. Nancy Cordes is standing by in Washington with more on that. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Harry. This legislation is being hailed as the most important step the government has taken to curb smoking since the Surgeon General's warning in 1964. It passed the Senate by a landslide yesterday and is expected to have passed in the House as early as today. Joe Camel will be given a life sentence and put away forever. The bill gives the FDA the power to restrict cigarette ingredients it deems hazardous and would require new health warnings that cover half the packaging. It prohibits the use of misleading terms like light, mild, or low tar and puts a stop to colorful ads that might appeal to kids. The tobacco company has been hooking young people for many years. It's an addictive product, and then they can't get off the product later. More than 1,000 public health and consumer groups pushed for this bill. Matt Myers of the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids has been campaigning for the legislation for 12 years. This would be the single most important action the Congress has ever taken to reduce tobacco use in the history of this country. After dropping from a high of 37% in 1997, the percentage of high schoolers who say they've lit up in the last month has stood stagnant at 20% over the past six years. This February, Congress and the President hiked the cigarette tax by 62 cents to a dollar seven a pack. How much is that? Health advocates estimate that for every 10% jump in cigarette prices, consumption drops by 3 to 5%. No longer will we let our kids be recruited as the next generation of smokers. And we've done the right thing for our children and our grandchildren. One unanswered question is how the FDA will handle this major new role policing cigarettes when it has long come under fire for fumbling the responsibilities it already has. The FDA will be getting additional resources to carry out the task paid for not by taxpayers, but by a fee on tobacco companies. Harry.